Nine in ten Singaporeans believe international collaboration is key to solving global challenges. A survey of 22,000 people in 24 countries has reported a similar result. The study by Expo 2020 Dubai also revealed the majority of Singaporeans are optimistic about the nation's ability to tackle sustainability issues. Now, for more, we're joined by Dina Story, Director for Sustainability Operations at Expo 2020, and Yap Lei B, Deputy Commissioner General of the Singapore Pavilion, which opens at Dubai Expo next month. Now, firstly, Dina, in terms of enhancing cross-border collaborations at a time like this, how is the Dubai Expo seeking to achieve that? Thank you for uh, a really interesting uh, group of people and the panel. And uh, I think for us, this is to bring people together, uh, connecting minds, creating the future. Uh, is it our fault? Uh, we, apology. we do apologize. We do have some audio issues uh, with Dina. We'll try and get that fixed. In the meantime, uh, let's uh, bring Lebi into the conversation. Lebi, in the survey, uh, Singaporeans highlighted tech as an important part of sustainability. With our green plans being the key thrust of the Singapore Pavilion, how are you marrying the two components? Yeah, so the Singapore Pavilion is designed to be a net zero uh, pavilion. So through the pavilion, we have integrated uh, you know, the different systems like greenery, water management and energy as well. So through the course of uh, designing the pavilion, the architect and the team has worked hard to achieve that uh, vision. To achieve net zero, there's uh, many uh, different uh, systems put in place. Now, beyond the fiscal uh, greenery, we have also layered the whole visitor's experience with uh, multiple digital touch points. For example, visitors can say hello to a series of climbing robots, and these climbing robots can recognize you know, even more than 170 uh, plant varieties that we have in the pavilion. Uh, the robots can also help to monitor the plant growth. In addition to it, we also have a regenerative artwork from the pavilion data collected, and these will also translate into a very fun uh, mobile digital gameplay for, for the visitors. So through the pavilion uh, unique Vista experience, we hope to, in a way, to share the Singapore story of how we have embraced uh, the greenery, uh, architecture and technology. Thank you. Maybe you mentioned the, the greenery there. We understand that the pavilion is set to look like a tropical urban landscape, but much like Singapore. Uh, you know, we've got less than a month away from the launch of this. What's happening on site right now? <laughs> yes, uh, on site, it's very hot, you know, we all know that we are in a desert. So the challenge for us is to you know how do we create that the, the Singapore Pavilion the green experience. We are very excited that the Singapore Pavilion is one of the greenest uh, pavilion that we have in this year's expo. So the team is working very hard to ensure, you know, we can present the best of our Singapore Pavilion. Uh, right now, the pavilion is literally coming alive with this, you know, multi-layering of greenery. Uh, the team is making final adjustment, you know, to the placement of the plants to make sure they receive the best uh, lighting conditions, you know, according to the sun path. You know, we are harvesting solar energy to power uh, the, the desalination of water so that this water can be used to, to power the drive mist. And also, you know, all, all the infrastructure system, network of sensors and data, a lot are ongoing. Uh, the team is uh, very excited. We are making final adjustment to the preparation and we welcome all to the Singapore Pavilion at the World Expo. The countdown continues for that event. Lebi, thank you very much for that. Yap Lebi, their Deputy Commissioner General of the Singapore Pavilion and earlier Dina Story, Director for Sustainability Operations at the Expo 2020 Dubai.